Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Nice of you to join me today. I am excited because I'm not much of a drawer myself. I'm not much of an artist from that kind of side of things. I like to do things in Procreate. is an app that I use on my iPad, but... Sorry, I'm out of breath. I've just run up the stairs. <laughs> Let me catch my breath again. <laughs> um, today... I'm letting you know that you can now draw in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and I'll just show you. And one of the exciting things is I'm actually gonna be using my drawing pad, if you like. So I've got a Huion drawing pad. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can check out this drawing pad. I use it for touching up photographs and all sorts of things in kind of like Lightroom and doing all my like photo editing and that side of things on there. But you can now use this actual Huey on pen and this doesn't take batteries um, but as long as it's plugged into the computer it all works and it's just like a, a drawing pad I'll pop a picture of it up here um, but yeah let's dive into Canva and have a look okay so here we are we're in Canva and it might not be obvious straight away and I've just got to kind of get used to the pen kind of like if I hover it over the pad it kind of shows up here so it just kind of shows up as a as a mouse button but in the, down the side here, and you might not see it straight away, if you've got draw, and it's in beta, uh, but apparently it's been rolled out to everyone. If you don't see it down here, if you click, click on more, and then it'll be down here somewhere. There's all these other options, but if you can't see it, just type in Canva apps, type in draw, and then it'll show it on there for you. If I just get rid of it, you'll, you'll see. If I click off that, you'll see. Yeah, there you go, it's just in there. And I can just connect it. There you go, and now we're in now we're in the drawing app. So I've just got a blank A4 document and I'm gonna move my some of my other items out of the way so I can bring my pad a little bit closer. But this is like really exciting to kind of like just start playing about with. We've got a couple of different options. We've got a pen. You can just kind of like draw about with the pen, you can change the size of the pen, so you can go a little bit thicker. You can change the transparency of the pen and you can then you can obviously erase the pen now this is all really exciting I'm just going to change the size of that so I just delete that a little bit quicker this is all really exciting and I'm really excited for for seeing this in here and also what you can do is you can come down to the the color picker and if you're not aware, in Canva, there is now an actual color picker. So if I've got an image, I can now come and pick. So if I wanted this particular Canva color here, I can now come and pick that. And then when I'm on pen, oops, I can then draw in that color. Now this is all really exciting. Once I click done, the only thing is, is it then creates this kind of like box and I can change the size of it. So I can change the size and you can see it gets a little bit pixelated. So the idea is, is to draw, it's not a vector image, it's actually a raster image. I'd say it's, um, the idea is to draw in the lines or the squiggles or anything else like that that you want to draw in. And then you can click on marker and then I'm not quite sure the difference between marker and pen. I mean, I've, the only thing is I've changed there is the different size. This is 50 and that's... 15 so if we change this down to 15 does it look any different it's a little bit smaller i would say so that's the marker at that size and that's the pen at that size the other things you've got are you've got a highlighter and again you can change the color of this if you wanted to and you can choose to highlight something and it gives it a kind of like a bit of a an opaque kind of like feel and it's a square so you can try and draw a straight line. I'm not very good at drawing straight lines. There you go. That's about as straight as I get. That was actually going between two dots as well. Didn't quite work, that one. But, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of this new drawing thing. Will you be using it in your designs? Will you not? Um, I think it's very early stages for this. It's kind of quite exciting. You've also got a glow pen here. Oops, I'll just select the glow pen and you can just see that I can then kind of like erases out over the top of those, which is really cool. 
um, doesn't I don't think it actually erases it just creates that illusion because there you go if I move you can see it it's not actually erased anything it's just drawn over the top you can choose all the different colors as I say you can change the size transparency and choose the color but there you go just a quick tutorial today to show you that canvas new launched this new drawing app Got a few more videos coming this week, got a few YouTube shorts that I'm going to show you and dive into some other new features in Canva. So make sure you click like and subscribe down below. Take turn on the no bell notification icon. But I'll try that again. <laughs> if you like this tip and you want to learn more about learning Canva and all the new things coming out in Canva over the next coming weeks, make sure you click like and subscribe down below. Turn on the bell notification icon. And until next time, thank you very much. And bye for now.